how were things going at the plate for you? Uh, it just felt really good. Like I was seeing the ball really well, and um, I just got coached well. Like we get coached well, so um, things fell together for a lot of us, and um, it felt good. What are you looking to improve on on this uh, when you go to Memphis? I think we're just going to continue to just play how we're playing. We're doing a great job, and um, you shouldn't break or fix something that's not broken. So we're just going to continue to um, keep fighting, keep working together, and um, keep having grateful hearts and um, just continue what we're doing. Both for you and the team, how does it feel different when you guys are on a roll like this compared to just you know past seasons? What is What feels differently, both for your personal game but also this team just winning game after game? Uh, past seasons definitely felt like a fight. It was like continued. There was multiple things like we were fighting and fighting to change and uh, places we wanted to grow in. And now things are kind of falling together. And um, it's just really, it's just a testament to God's goodness, like in all the things that he's done uh, through each person on our team and through the people who are helping us out. It's just a testament to all the things that he's doing. We just feel really blessed. How much does this team like lean on each other? Because last year, you know, it was, Jessica would do a lot, you would do a lot, but it feels like this right. this year it's really spread out across the whole roster. It, we have no holes. It's so exciting. Like throughout our whole lineup is stacked and every single person brings different things to the table and um, each person's fully committed and all in and not working for themselves, but working for the greater good of the team. And um, it's really exciting. Like we all just want to do the, do the thing. Like we all just want to win and we all just want to like, uh, just serve each other and love each other and have fun and um, give glory to God. So it's exciting. Who do you lean on on this team and who, who leans on you the most? I think it depends on the situation. Like I'm playing the outfield, so it's easy to uh, connect with the right and left fielder, whoever's playing there and with within outfield. But uh, within leadership, like we have lots of leadership on the team. So it kind of just depends on the situation. I depend on Jess, Kiana, Taylor, the seniors for sure, and um, Heaven's doing a great job, and uh, Kinsey for sure has a good outlook. So I think it just depends on the situation. We all kind of feed off each other well and bring different things to the table. With Big 12 play coming up next week, how do you guys kind of put that out of your mind, considering the, the team that's coming up there? How do you put mm -hmm. that out of your mind and just focus on uh, the task at hand this weekend in Memphis? Well, I think we know that that each day is a preparation towards conference. So we want to take each game. And uh, some games have been more challenging than others. We've been able to win those games. But um, like each game brings a different challenge. And so we're just looking to conquer those little challenges within each game because we know that will prepare us for Oklahoma, who's coming in in two weeks. Going into this weekend, uh, clearly Oklahoma's a week away. Mm -hmm. but how do you guys stay focused with what, what you guys have to take care of this weekend in Memphis, knowing that? that team is on the horizon mm -hmm. to start a Big 12 play. Yeah, I mean, our approach has always been something that's uh, really consistent with this team. We never really have to worry about it. Um, we go in there every single game, no matter who we're playing, ready to just put somebody away. And that's shown in our record. Like, we haven't dropped a game to a team that we might have a few years ago. Um, that Just that consistent approach that we have and just playing our game and being confident in, in who we are, um, it's going to get us through the, the weekend. And it'll be the same approach that we take against Oklahoma. How do these different tournaments, specifically this one come, but how do these prepare you for conference play? Um, I mean, you never really know like what kind of adversity you're going to come through with all the all the games that we try to squeeze in before conference. Um, so you never really know, just coming up um, with all these games. But um, this team has handled everything really well, and it's brought us a lot, like, a lot closer together. Um, and I think just us really loving each other through all of it is really going to help having that foundation going through conference. Carly talked about the lineup not having any holes, and after last year, does that kind of um, free you up to know it's like if I don't get it done, someone else will, and kind of much less pressure and be able to be more productive than feeling more pressure, I guess? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every single one of us can just go out there and have fun. And when we have that freedom, then we end up playing a lot better, um, not taking on too much and just enjoying the game for what it is. Um, cause Every single person has come through for us, no matter what the situation is. So um, having that freedom is really, really uh, awesome for us. Are there any specific objectives that you all set as either a team or you individually before conference play? And do you think you all have uh, reached them by now, or do you still have some work to do? 
Uh, we just want to remember how good we are. Like during the fall and then earlier um, before we started games, we knew that we were so talented, but we had no clue what it was going to look like when we got out there on the field. Um, so I think just remembering that and not letting anything shake that I think is really important for us. And I think we've done a really good job sticking to that this whole time. Do you have to like pinch yourself after how some of the past season gone now to be like a top ten team in the country? How do you how do you process that as a player? I mean, it's just it's really rewarding to go through the last like three years of what we've gone through and to learn all the lessons from that and all the people that have come through and um, it's really rewarding to see that pay off. Um, and yeah, like it's hard to believe like we're gonna go out and practice today and we're gonna be the same team that we all like love so much and we're a top ten team. Like that's that's really cool. Well, everybody was getting done at the plate, but how special was uh, Carly's weekend? <laughs> She's a monster. Yeah. Carly's a monster. Um, that was just so fun to watch. I love to sit on deck and just watch her do her thing. Like, she is just unshaken in who she is, um, and that kind of confidence is so fun to watch. How important is this weekend for you guys? I mean, I, I asked Jessica there, but knowing what's ahead of you guys in Oklahoma to not look past uh, what's on the schedule this weekend. Um, clearly, we're on a roll, um, but I think it's – more important now more than ever just to know that to be where your feet are and to know that right now is more important than what's in the future regardless of who we're playing I think it just sets the tone for us going into Big 12. Going into Big 12 play do you guys set any certain objectives for either yourself individually or for the team leading up to conference play and do you think you guys have uh, reached those? Um, I think what we really try to prioritize is just know who we are and trust the process. And throughout the game, Coach, she, a lot of the times if she sees that we're not really being ourselves and not staying calm, she tells us to all as a team, like, take a breath and then relax. And then we just usually keep going with that pace that we've been setting. You guys have been pretty relaxed. I mean, what's, what's the secret? behind it. I mean, winning helps, I know. But <laughs> is, is there a secret? Um, just knowing that everyone can get it done in the lineup or on the mound. Like, I think we just have a lot of trust in each other and knowing that it's not on one person's shoulders. Where was that change where so many people started to step up and it just became an overall balanced hitting lineup, an overall balanced roster where you know so many people could, could contribute game in and game out? Um, a lot of the time, people have just proven it in a game, but it all started in the cages, and we do challenges, and we just work day in and day out. And I think when it starts in here and you can see when the pressure is on us that we get it done, that we have the trust that we can get it done in the game as well. Coach, I mean, the way you guys are rolling, it's kind of hard to say this, but how do you guys not look forward to – Big 12 play next week, this week, and take care of business in Memphis? Yeah, I mean, I think we've done a really good job of being right where our feet are at each time, each weekend, and so we are not going to attack this weekend any different. You know, I think everyone's excited about the OU series, but, um, you know, we have to be right where our feet are at and prepare for our very next opponent, which is, you know, in Memphis. How have you done that week to week? Because it seems like there, you guys haven't, you know, from series to series, each game, each tournament, it, it, they're very focused on each opponent they're playing. How have you made sure that even with all the success, they aren't looking to that next match or that next series? Yeah, I mean, we just talk a lot about being right where your feet, at, feet are at and not taking anything for granted and not getting ahead of yourself, you know, and respecting each one of your opponents and understanding what RPI is and that, you know, some of – it's so easy to get up for Auburn or for OU, but, you know, those aren't the, those aren't the guys that kind of will pummel you. And so the more that we've explained that to our kids, the more that they've – and they've had some learning lessons in that in the past, you know. So um, the more that we've been able to just teach upon that, like every single opponent, it. you got to respect them and play them um, to the best of your ability. They've done a really good job. They've done a really good job with that. Is that really where they're clicking overall because they're not overlooking everyone and you have that depth throughout the lineup? Is that how they've kept the consistency throughout the year? Well, I mean, they're a fun group. Like, they have, they're having a good time. Um, they're, they're in, internally, they're hard workers, and, um, and they just, you know, they've waited to get to this point. And so it's like if you've been waiting this long, then you're not going to take it for granted. And, um, and they're not. You know, our senior class isn't taking one thing for granted. Um, and I think that's special when you have some people that have been builders and have really gone through some grinding to get here, then it's, I mean, it's simple to not take it for granted. As a coach, what are some of the objectives or things that you hope to see before conference plays uh, begin since it starts uh, or sooner than? I mean... 
you, you always have ways to get better, you know, and I think, you know, we, we've talked with our pitchers about lessening our walks and our hit by pitches. Um, you know, we want to hit in better counts. We need to do some of our skills, our skill, our, like our moving plays a little bit better, you know, um, but I just, I really, we haven't really played objectively. Like we haven't really made them be like, we must do this to do this. Like we've ran well, um, we've fielded well, you know, we just want to make sure that we're the most aggressive team here and having the most fun. And that's really where we've, we've focused up on. You've had people hitting up and down the lineup and Carly's done it a couple times this year, but how impressive was this past weekend, maybe even her whole year to this point? You know, I mean, what's been so, like, when Carly first started here, she her first weekend she had four home runs, bam. And it's like this little, she's going to be mad at me, but this little kid, you know, that just, like, swings the bat like a grown man, you know. And, uh, and then she kind of went back into more of a base hit hitter, triples, doubles. And then, you know, that's, that's kind of what her M.O. was all year up until this weekend. And this weekend she got in her legs a little bit more and got some height under her ball. And she just has, like, the fastest barrel whip of anyone on our team. So um, she's worked really hard at pitch selection, really hard at plate coverage, really hard at the off-speed pitch. So it's really fun to watch how hard she's been in here and spent time in the cage, um, you know, perfecting her craft. It's, I mean, she hit multiple change-ups over that weekend, and she took her walks, and she hit the pitches she wanted to hit. And, um, you know, that's a mature hitter. With that in mind, how much has this team surprised you in just different ways, like Carly, you know, being different at the beginning of the year, middle, and where she is now? Just across the board, how much has this team really surprised you with what it's been able to do? Um, it hasn't really surprised me. Um, I knew we were really talented. Um, you know, when you're recruiting three years out, um, we just were kind of waiting for this roster to get here. And so we knew they were very talented. I think I didn't know that they were going to like enjoy each other so much and, and uh, have so much fun while doing it. And so that part has been interesting. Um, but like they're fun kids and, you know, one on one, they they're hilarious, and they've done a really good job to gel. And winning helps that a ton. But um, you know, they genuinely care for each other. So we knew we were we knew we were talented. Um, but the camaraderie and the in the um, you know team care, team love, if you will, um, that part is is I think a major 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 reason of why we're doing what we're doing. How's this year been different for you as a coach? Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of things have been different for me, but, um, you know, I think that whenever you're recruiting kids and they choose you, then they play differently. Um, and when you take over a program, they don't choose you. They kind of got handed you. And so everyone on this roster chose me or chose our staff. And that's a, it's a, it's a whole different ball game. I mean, throughout we had had kids that we had recruited that chose us, but not our whole, not our whole roster. And now this whole roster didn't get stuck with us. They chose, you know, and they're playing like it. Um, and you know, we're we're going at a certain type of kid that we recruit, and um, and that helps them gel because it's not so they're not so different. They're not. I mean, they're different, but they have so many qualities that are in their center that are the same.